how to choose colors like these for your Hyperland desktop. So as you can see over here, we have Tokyo Night, this beautiful image of Tokyo Night, the color scheme over here, and then we have Gruffbox Dark over here. Not to mention, we also have a bunch of different colors that I have curated. So I can show you how you can pick colors like these for yourself. As you can see, there are a couple of custom ones over here, some that you might not have seen before, like Night Fox and Noir. These are just ones that I've completely made on my own. Along with, of course, we have a bunch of different colors that are popular and mainstream, like Capuchin, Everforest, Grovebox, and Rosé Pine, and all those fun ones. Okay, now, I'm going to show you how you can get colors like these for yourself, how to find them, and how to apply them, you know, to your own machine. Real quick, if you don't know who I am, I'm Samarth. I've been racing Hyperland for over three years now. I've been making setups for clients for quite a long time. And I now help other Hyperland users get amazing setups like these without having to waste too much time. Okay. Now, how do we actually get started with finding the colors? So there are a couple of ways we can do it. Okay. There are two ways. If you want to figure out what color schemes and what colors that you should use for your system, First, you have to ask yourself this question, right? The question goes a little something like this. So, uh, yeah, it's basically this question, right? So, what kind of emotion, what kind of emotion do I want this scheme to evoke? Basically, that's kind of fancy speak for what emotion. You see, because we're human, we tend to base a lot of decisions and just we tend to do stuff like based on emotion. Unless, of course, you can get really good at controlling it. We tend to use emotions for a lot of stuff. Now, same thing goes for our theme, right? We want to pick a theme which actually makes us feel good. Like, for example, Tokyo Night. Okay, this is a different theme switcher, but anyway. Yeah, Tokyo Night, the current theme that I have selected over here. This seems to be a pretty cozy theme, as you can see with this lo-fi, you know, coffee cup and this lo-fi looking cafe over here. So if I change to something like Noir, Say, okay, so what kind of emotion do you think this one conveys? This one conveys something like stealth. Okay, so stealth, and then we have undistracted, a kind of, you know, lasered in, locked in on something. We kind of have this. It's a bit, you know, glum and moody, sure, but then this is the kind of theme that you'd put on if you really wanted to just lock in on something and get something done. Okay, then let's see what kind of other emotion is evoked by these ones. So let's pick Night Fox. Okay, and Night Fox, as you can see over here with this wallpaper, it looks like really cozy, right? So this is a kind of setup that you would probably, you know, use. This is the kind of colors that you would use if it was raining outside, it was really cozy, and you just wanted to chill out and then do watch a bunch of YouTube or something and just relax. This is the kind of theme that you would have. And of course, if you wanted something even more, you know, nature oriented, you would pick something like Everforest, which is, literally has a forest wallpaper. And this gives you the kind of feeling and emotion that you're basically in a forest. So step one, basically, is to decide what kind of emotion you want your theme to evoke. Okay. So let's say I wanted to create another theme that allowed me to focus without having too many distractions. So I would probably go for something that was monochrome, right? So we'd pick something like monochrome. Okay, now, what emotion do I want it to convey? So stealth, stealth, and then possibly assassin vibes, dark assassin vibes. Something like that. So you just want to use a bunch of adjectives, which are basically words used to describe stuff. You just put them in over here into a file, and then you just keep looking at it as you, you know, go on and pick your colors. That's the first question answered. Okay, now we have a couple more, but before I tell you those questions, if you want to know how to make custom color schemes like these for yourself, along with, you know, making a theme switcher so that everything is uniform and goes along with the theme that you create, just click the first link in the description. I show you exactly how to make themes like this, custom themes like this on your own, all the stuff that you have to do beforehand, all the scripting that you have to do. I basically walk you through it step by step so that you don't have to go elsewhere and look for any information. I designed it in basically such a way that if the internet went down tomorrow, you would have every single resource that you needed in order to rise a system and make it look as beautiful as this one. Of course, I also teach you how to create a bunch of custom theme switches like this one for yourself so that you have a bunch of variety at your disposal and that you don't have to st sit here and then look at the same wallpaper over and over. Okay, so just click the first link in the description, check it out. I promise you it's going to be the best decision that you will have ever made when it comes to this because I teach it in such detail that you never would have imagined it. Okay, now, now that we have that emotion, you know, this question ticked off, what are we going to do next? So after the emotion, we're going to 
ask another question and this second question should be enough for you to get started okay now what color what color or you can ask it as what style okay, so either dark or light dark or light now this question should have actually come before and this one should have come after so you just put it like that and we're done these two questions are mostly what we need in order to just get started with picking out colors now let's get to where actually you can find a bunch of these colors okay so this these are the questions that you're basically going to answer if you want to make a theme on your own but if you want to find a lot of pre-made themes we're going to use a tool that we probably most likely already use which is vs code Okay, so if we just open VS Codium over here and then go over to the extension section, which I've basically just hidden everything about VS Code in order to make it the most minimal editor possible. But in order to get to the extension section, you just have to press Control Shift X and pulls that up. And as you can see over here, I've already installed a bunch of themes. But if you want to look for more themes, all you have to do is just type in category colon themes, and then you should see a bunch of different themes over here. Okay, so this is a really good resource in order for you to get started with finding themes, right? So as you can see, there is absolutely no end to the list of themes that you have over here. You have view and then monokite and then 2077. We have every single theme possible, okay? Now, these ones, there's no guarantee that you're going to find every single theme over here uh, as like a GTK theme or a Kitty theme or something else. So let's say you pick a theme over here. Like, for example, I pick something like the Ava theme. Okay, this isn't that popular i'm guessing like this one for my terminal along with the gtk theme for let's say an app like nwg look it's most likely not going to be available as a gtk theme so what you would have to do in that case is basically create a theme yourself so you're going to have to create a kitty theme and then you're going to have to create a gtk theme and then all the other stuff that you basically have to do in order to theme your system you'd also have to find a matching cursor and whatnot if you choose a theme on vs code that you know isn't supported by most other applications if it's not too popular like this one for example okay so if i show you what the kitty what creating the kitty theme for such a you know obscure theme would look like it goes something like this right so it's in config kitty colors uh, let's pick custom and let's say gravbox dot oh and by the way if you were wondering what that colors and custom folders were all about i discuss it in extreme detail in the first link in the description so you can just go ahead and check that out Right, so here, as you can see over here, we just get the colors from this theme. They, pro they probably have it on their website. So you just go to their website and then you look at all the colors and then you fill them in for your kitty theme. You can also ask AI to do this. It's pretty simple. It gets it done. But you're basically going to have to repeat that for every single app that you want. There is another way, okay? So this way is actually involving a, you know, mod sort of for NeoVim called NVChat. So currently this is NVChat right now. I'm running NVChat. And what this allows you to do is basically pick between a bunch of different popular themes. So as you can see, we have themes like Aquarium, Ashes, Island, IO, and then a bunch more different themes that are actually really popular. So if you looked, for example, something like Everblush, Everblush was actually really popular back in the day. Same for Everforest. And then a Floro Machine. There are a couple of new ones, a GitHub Doc, for example. So yeah, basically. You can also use NVChad and to look for a bunch of different themes that you like. So those two are the ways that you can look for themes. Okay, now getting back to creating your own theme. These two are the questions that we answered at first, right? What style? So it was either dark or light. And then what emotion? So the emotion that I picked was stealth and dark assassin vibes. Now, if you want to create your own color scheme, again, there's... A couple of ways to do this the way that i've seen that is probably the, the quickest is you just go over to a color scheme that you like a lot okay let's say you've probably picked out one from the a list of these ones okay let's say i liked graphbox a lot so i just go to github.com forward slash more hits graphbox and then i basically just take a look at this image right let's close that yeah so we have this image over here what you would like to do is basically use a color picker, something like hyper picker, right? You just copy the color, you paste it into a file, or you can take the same color and then go to a website like colorhexa.com and then basically look at different shades and tints of the same color and then basically just alter it a little bit. 
So that way, what you're actually doing is taking inspiration from a theme that obviously works and has been used by lots of, pe lots of people. And then you're just adding your own twist to it. Technically, it still is your own color scheme, just inspired, right? So this is what that would look like if you were to take the color and then add in a bunch of shades and tints to it. So let's go to colorhexa.com. And by the way, a shade, okay? So what a shade is, is let's say you have a base color, okay? Let's say I'm taking something like BG. Okay, so 282828. So let's say to this color, I add in a bunch of black. So when you add black to a color, the resulting color that forms is known as a shade. And a tint is basically adding white to a color. So if I add a bit more of white to this BG color, it becomes a bit lighter, right? That lighter color is what we call a tint. And adding black to a color gives you a darker color, of course. And that color is called a shade. So a little difference there for you. Okay, so let's just enter in any color value. We'll pick something like red to get started with. FB4934. FB4934. So as you can see over here, you can see a bunch of different info about this color, you know, the different color space values, like CMYK, and then you have HSL values. Now here, here we have the shade color variation. So here, for example, what we're doing is from here, like pretty sure, okay, let's see which one's the original one. Somewhere over here, right? Okay, yeah. So we take one of the colors, and then when we add black to it, it becomes a bit darker, right? So this is a shade of the original color, which is FB4934. And then it just gets darker and darker and darker until you eventually end up with this. Now a tint is basically just adding a lot of white to a color, in which case the color becomes lighter and so on and so forth. So what you can do is, let's say you wanted a pastel theme. So let me show you what the pastel theme looks like. Get something like pastel beans. So as you can see, it's a very, you know, bright theme that really jumps out at your eyes, kind of like Dracula. Dracula does the same thing, right? Yep. As you can see, the colors really jump out and it's not, you know, hard to read in any way. So if you wanted to convert Gruffbox into the same kind of aesthetic that Gra Dracula and the other theme, Pastel Beans that I showed you, all you have to do is just go over to Tint Color Variation and then you just pick any color over here. And then you just make your own chart. So let's say we have 16 colors for that, right? So let's say for, we can create a red light color and then a red dark color. So red dark would be something like this one. Okay, so we basically just copy this CC241D and then we repeat the same process. But for the light one, let's do the light one first. Okay, so let's pick a different one. So it's something like F, F, whatever this is. Okay, and then we copy, whoops. And then we just paste it in over here. And then for the dark color, so CC241D. Let's go over to here. CC241D. Okay, look for a different shade. As you can see, this is a bit of a darker color. So what we're going to do, Maybe pick a bit darker, something like this. Copy it and paste it. Or if you didn't want the darker color to be that dark, what you can do is I'll take this and then paste that in over here. And then of course you repeat this for every other color that you see on the screen, including BG0, 1, 2, 3, 4. You just slightly tweak the colors a little bit. You can also do this with a color wheel. So if you use an app like gpick for example i don't have it let's see not gpick but g color 3 g color okay g color 3 let's just install it and if you're wondering what this i stands for it's basically an alias for yay dash s i cover it you know in in extensive detail in hyper accelerator which is the program which is the first link in the description so you can just go ahead and check that out but yeah g color 3 here you see the color wheel right so you can pick any color, something like, again, FB4934. FB4934, hit enter. And then you can just tweak around the color that you see on the color wheel. Shift it to whatever color you want, copy it, and then paste it into this file. This file, the resulting file that you get, is basically the file that you're going to refer to when you're making the template files for all of the other components of your system, like your waybar, like RAFI and your terminal colors along with your gtk theme.
chances are you know if you're making your own theme you're most probably going to have to find a gtk theme that already fits the kind of aesthetic you're going for otherwise you're just going to have to create your own gtk theme which shouldn't be too difficult pretty sure i'll make a tutorial on it in the future but yeah that should pretty much be it that is how to make your own color scheme or find them online yourself if you want a blazing fast and beautiful setup like this one along with all the theme switcher goodness and a whole lot more tweaks without having to waste months trying to figure it out all in your own just go ahead and click the first link in the description i spent over three years assimilating all the information and just putting it into there just for you so that you wouldn't have to go through any of the struggles and trials and god knows what else that i did Right, so go ahead, click the first link in the description, check it out. I can tell you this. It is going to be the best investment that you'll have ever made when it comes to rising and hyperland and investing in a quality setup. If you liked the video, hit like. If you enjoyed it, hit subscribe, and I will see you next time. Stay rising.